and we're supposed to leave in less than four hours to go camping. Should be an exciting weekend. Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Monkey. There's Monkey. As you can see, we're camping. Tent set up. I don't know if I'm going to put the top on yet. The rain fly. This really makes me sick every time I look at it. Yeah, I burn it up. <laughs> when we had the heater in there I opened that up and it laid right down on the heater but we gotta get a new tent anyway while well, we was planning on it anyway so um you know it, it poured earlier when it wasn't wasn't even supposed to rain but it poured as you saw in the intro so i don't know if i'm gonna put the rain fly on yet or not i might wait till later but we're gonna set this up too we just got this today. We're going to try it out. So we can, we got that so we can keep out of the sun. And if it does rain, we're not st stuck in the tent. We can at least, you know, come outside and, right? So we're going to do a review on that. I'll, I'll speed you up. I'm going to set it up. Never set one of them up before. I've set up a lot of canopies, but not that one. So I'm going to set you up here and let you uh i'll speed you up through it it's supposed to be what's it say instant frame or something like that so i don't know so let me get you set up here and go from there hang tight guys Okay guys, it's up. Instant my ass. More like instant piss you off. Yeah. Alright, I just gotta stake down the bottom and figure these ropes out. So the instructions tell you. Push the red button, pull out the thing. They don't want to come out. Okay guys, so we got that set up. Uh, I mean, I like it. It's just this thing sticks so bad. I don't know what's going on with it. It is nose Arctur. What did we get for that? A hundred? Yeah. hundred bucks. But we'll see how easy it is to take down. Right now, I'm going to set this table up. That monkey got Timu. What would you get for this? 
she gave $24 for it. Man, the mosquitoes are bad because of that rain today, and it's been raining the past couple days. So this thing, one of the neighbors up there, their um, solar panel quit working, so she come down. She's got her phone here charging. There we go. This. Like that. And this one goes like that. Now we'll take this. Just like that and I'll be back with you guys in just a second hang tight okay so here's our camp all set up I'm gonna move this over here there's our little table, a little table. and I'm gonna be cooking here in a few minutes inside there I'll bring you along with me for that what do we have in country fried steaks right yeah mashed potatoes mashed potatoes I'm not actually making the steaks. They're already made up. They're raw. They have to be cooked, but they're already breaded and everything. So we'll get to that here in just a minute. All right, so I'm in the canopy. Now, I don't know what the f how many feet it is because it doesn't say how many feet it is. <laughs> you know, usually they'll be like 13 by 9 or whatever. It doesn't really say that. It does say in the dead center it's seven feet three inches but I don't know I mean it's a good footprint but I like it because it's square I don't know about the um, got a leaf hang on all right I don't know about the uh, what was I gonna say the things that you got to pull out I mean it is brand new they could get easier over time we just got to see I mean I do like it that it's you know screened in and it does have some cover for some rain uh, they had another one that was a 13 by 9 uh, but it kind of came down more which would be good for rain but I wanted something that would breathe a little more and it was like I said a 13 by 9 it was longer one way than it was the other way you know what I mean sometimes when you get in certain certain situations that could hinder you I like this one because it's square um, I could probably pace it off but it's looking to be about like maybe an 8 by 8 I would guess um, could be a 7 by 7 anyway it's square I mean so far I mean it would have went better but I had it right the first time then I flipped it over and I was like wait a minute this don't have a floor and I was looking at a floor which was the roof and I was like I had it wrong that was my fault so but as far as them things pulling out they you would think they'd pull out easier than that but like I said once it stretches out and stuff it might be all right that table we like it so far I mean it's just a table but still um, monkey ran to the house because we left Bruno at the house because she was going to go back anyway because I have a package coming you guys will get to see it it's there so she went back to get it and picked Bruno up and we figured cause he, he hasn't been feeling good today but he was all excited to go but we left him there so he could stay cool a little longer before we brought him out here that way we could get all set up and everything it is right now it's uh, 645 so um, but what was I gonna say <laughs> but anyway oh I don't know what this package is all I know is it weighs 22 pounds um, I got an email yesterday 
from UPS to track my package. So I was like, what package? I didn't order anything. I especially didn't order anything that weighs 22 pounds. I don't know who it's from. I do know it's from Amazon. So this should be interesting. So she went to go pick that up and get and get Bruno. We're not sure how the mistakes are going to turn out because she had them on the bottom of the cooler. And we got it in that styrofoam cooler, which usually does well, but it's super duper hot out here. Heat index is over 100 and it was in the car, so it got soaking wet. Now, I know the gravy in it are individually packaged, but I don't know about the steaks, so it could be a little soggy. <laughs> but I'm going to try them anyway. But, uh, yeah, I also have the fire bow we're going to try that try that the fire bow out which i haven't i haven't uh used a fire bow in probably 11 or 12 years it's like 2011 2012 ish so about 11 years 12 years the last time i used one and when i did i i made my own with stuff out of the woods and uh uh boot lace um that was before i was youtubing um so and i did pretty good i mean i had a fire going in 20 minutes so it's probably going to take me a long a lot longer than that but that's when i would do that stuff quite often so i haven't used a fire bow in a long time <laughs> so it should be interesting so but yeah that tent i i, I want to throw up every time because that's the only thing wrong with that tent there was never any, there wasn't anything wrong with it there's you know it's still a fine tent nothing wrong with it but we just wanted to try try something different you know and uh maybe one of them easy ups <laughs> uh, we was talking about it but i think monkey was talking today she she wants a she wants to get a pop-up tent a pop-up camper you know tent camper and i agreed to us as long as it's not an rv or a regular camper camper you know i can go for that i used to borrow a buddy of mine and uh, i liked it it's pretty good size but um we don't need anything big anyway so a small a small pop-up camper would be all right and that way our little truck can pull it the toyota can pull it um but you know that's later on down the line because we're getting older and <laughs> she has a hard time getting up off the you know up off the ground I told her, you know, she needs to get one of them cots. She said, that's harder to get it off of. I'm like, how do you figure you're already this far off the ground? <laughs> but, so, yeah, we're getting older, so. But, uh, you know, our tenting days are numbered. Now, as far as my hammock, though, you know, I might not be able to use it as a bivy for too many more years, but, you know, as a hammock, I can still, I'll still be able to get in, in and out of the hammock, but. So that's what's going on. That woman's phone is here because Monkey had to leave, so I just had it plugged into the inverter for. Um, so there's only three of us camping here. Well, there's one up there by that woman. Um, they're in a travel trailer, like a, a camper camper. And then she's, she's tenting too. And then we're tenting so there's only three of us in this whole camp in, in this whole camp area the whole campgrounds you know but they're way over there so that's cool um we're kind of by ourselves here in the scary spot <laughs> but we noticed that every time we've come out here we've come out here a couple times when the place was pretty much almost full except this spot <laughs> monkeys said maybe they know something we don't haven't been hurt here yet <laughs> but I like it because it's so shady here I mean it's still hot but right now we're getting a slight breeze and it's always shady in this area there's some Sun but not a lot so that's pretty cool um, I'm not gonna put the drone up today uh, probably do it tomorrow monkey's mom's gonna come out tomorrow and have dinner with us and kind of hang out a little bit she's not going to spend the night of course but you know so she'll get to come out and be out of the house and she's going to come out sunday too so i'm going to make over the fire providing it don't rain i'm going to make some um, foil meals um that you wrap up and foil and throw on the fire so 
those will be interesting so I don't know this is probably going to be a two-parter up oh, she's back already that's telling me she couldn't get the gate open because I guess everybody's been having trouble with that girl that we're charging her phone for the phone her phone for her, she had to actually call FWC to get them to give her their code to use their lock so all right guys I'll be right back let me see what's going on so like I said yeah it wouldn't work that woman she had the same problem um, she ended up calling FWC and they was telling her we'll do this try that try to push in and pull out blah 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 none of it worked and she, she, they ended up having to give her their code but when we got here it was unlocked so I was like well that's cool so I just went up there with her and sure enough and he, it won't unlock that's twice in Potts Preserve once over at Hootie Point and now here that we could not get out we were locked in so what I did was um, we came back and got the code off of her to use their lock and if they end up changing that for some reason I don't care I'm going to bust the lock I can break in that lock break that lock real easy with a couple wrenches that I always carry in the truck I always carry tools in there and let them say, oh, you broke our lock. That's illegal. You know, it's illegal to lock somebody in your place and to where they can't get out because there's fence all the way around there. We, we, you know, if there's an emergency, a forest fire, we can't get out of here when that happens. Now, that's twice. That's fucking twice. And that pisses me off, man. Pisses me off to no end. Why? You know? Jeez. Like last time over Hootie Point. What it was was they changed the code like they, they change it every week but they changed the code but it was early Sunday morning instead of after 11. We, we had to be out at 11. Well they changed it early that morning because it was what 10, 10 30? Anyway we couldn't get out. So it was a good thing that the water people was there and they used their and, and they was like well I don't know because I was like you know can you let us out and they're like well I don't know all right, you know, I'll just ram the gate. I don't care. And they're like, oh, oh, okay. I said, what the hell? You know, it's not like we're trying to get in and, you know, we're trying to get out. And that's twice we couldn't get out. You know, if there's an emergency at home, because, you know, she has to go check on her mom and stuff. We're only five minutes from the house, but still, you know, I've been dicking around for almost, well, 15 minutes. No, almost 30 minutes. Just trying to, dick around trying to get that lock open that's stupid that is stupid so yeah if I have to break that lock and they want to arrest me for criminal damaging no the only crime that's committed here is us getting locked in here not being able to get out that's stupid I know what a lot of my haters are gonna say well what do you want it's free well I want to be able to get out of somewhere once I get in there that's what I want Jeez. That must be why it was unlocked when we came in. But see, every time we come in here, there's usually a guy on a green golf cart. He never says anything. He waves and he drives around. I don't know where he comes from, but apparently he sees us somehow. And then he leaves. So I figure, because I left the gate unlocked when we came in. Because I thought, well, there's a reason why it's unlocked. I'll just leave it unlocked. And I had the chain around it. The gate was closed, but I just didn't lock it. I'll bet you he locked it. This is ridiculous you know changing codes on you or, you know you, you know was, we were just lucky to even get in here that's stupid now we can't get out that's twice we couldn't get out of Potts Preserve so anyway I want to sit down and relax for a minute well till she gets back I mean here it is it's a quarter after seven now so but I don't know she said she'd probably be gone about an hour or so. Anyway, when she gets back, I brought the inverter, so when she gets back, you know, I'll have better light and stuff, so. Um, but yeah, that's that's stupid. That's crazy. It's ridiculous. You know, make it to where you can't get out of a place, change the code on you, and over in the other place, nobody gets service. So even if they would, which they didn't, because I knew when I got home, when I got service, I never got an email stating, okay, the, the code has changed, you know. 
which we're probably going to run into that problem anyway because we're not leaving on Sunday. We're going to leave on Monday, and I think they changed the code on Sunday or Monday. So we'll be locked in again. That'll be three times. I'm over that, man. Like I said, if they do it again, I'm not calling anybody. I'm breaking the lock. I'm tired of it. If they wonder who broke the lock, I broke the lock, you know? You can't, you can't lock somebody in a place and make it to where they can't get out, you know? No matter who you are, no matter what company you are, no matter if you're, you know, the state of Florida, you can't just come on in and then make it to where you can't get out. That's ridiculous. So anyway, sorry about the rant. So that's what's happening right now. So anyway, guys, like I said, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to drink some pop. And I'll be back with you guys uh, if something happens or as soon as she gets back. Okay, guys, so this is, this is what we got. It didn't look like this when we bought them, but this is what they are. Sorry about the lighting. Country fried beef steaks. Beef patty fritters with gravy. All right. I know the gravy is individually packaged, but I don't know about the meat, so we're going to find out. Yes, it is. It's in plastic, so we're good. <laughs> I'm get back there. Oh, good. What'd you bring? <laughs> I seen that soup in there. <laughs> but she was worried about it. I'm like, hell, don't worry about it. It's, it's all part of camping, you know. Things uh, don't always go as planned. Uh, how many beefsteaks are in here? Five. It says there's five. And I don't, let me grab my knife. The reason why lighting's so bad is I got the light on the outside. So that way it doesn't bring bugs in here as bad. And I think it's on low. No, you stay. You stay. He's fine. Oh. What? Okay, well, <laughs> they are a little sawed. Okay, there is five in here. So let's go ahead. Okay. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this pan up with water to heat up the gravy. There's one pack per patty. And after that, then I'll make the mashed potatoes. But over here, we're going to fry them up in here. I don't know what that box is, but it's pretty big, isn't it, Monk? Yeah. And I forgot my lighter. Shoot, hang on, guys. Okay, so I moved you over here, or over there. Okay, I lit this earlier to make sure we're going to light. Must have lost pressure. Now, I haven't filled this thing up for a long, long time. So it's probably getting a little low. Plus, I need to clean out the tube. I'm sure the tube's not... I'm sure the tube's not clean anymore. There we go. Alright, now we're going to put our skillet on here. And... I got some oil here. I'm just going to use all this oil. Monkey's got to go back to the house tomorrow anyway. I'll have her get me some more. We're going to let that heat up. Also... Get some water heating up here for the gravy. That's how we're going to heat the gravy up. Did you grab trash bags? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Because <laughs> we forgot them when we came out. And I forgot to remind her, but so anyway, once it starts getting ready, 
I'll bring you back on when we... Do we have a spatula? Yeah. Okay. Well, at least we have that. If not, you know, it's nothing to turn something. So, I'll be back with you guys when we're ready to throw the meat on here. Okay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and... I put a little piece in there and I hear it sizzling, so that's telling me that it's time. Oh, yeah. Get one more in there. All right. Now we're gonna let those things fry up, and then I'm gonna flip them, and I'll show you what we got when they're done. Okay, guys, these are done. Now, and the gravy's hot. So I'm gonna turn this burner off and I gotta get some water on for the potatoes. This is this is what we brought. We just got the instant ones. And I'm gonna get some water to boil on them. And then um let me see where can I put this so we don't get burned. Something weird happens every time we come out here. Mm -hmm. Something weird happens. I always hang a bunch of ants up here on this table mm. or something. Anyway, the uh, the lantern burnt through the rope and uh, it fell out of that tree. It did not break, it did not dent that we can see, the, you know, the globe, the glass globe did not break. The mantle was broke, but that's to be expected, but the glass didn't break, so that's pretty good, And it, which is weird, because it's hot, but it's never burnt through the rope before. It's just every time we come out here, last time we was out here, I got sick, we had to go home. Weird. All right, guys, I'm gonna get these out of here. I'm gonna change the water. We're going to boil some water up for the potatoes. Okay, so and I'm going to add some of these potatoes in here, and I'm just going to pour them in until, because you know I didn't measure anything, so I'm just going to pour them in and keep stirring. So it says to take it off a boil. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. Start pouring these in. It's four cups of water to a bag of this, but I don't. They're supposed to serve eight, but you know how that is. But I don't know how much water I put in here, so. Yeah, they're they're thickening up. Put some more in here. Monkey's already tried the meat. How is it, Monk? Very good. She says it's very good, so. And that was eight bucks. Yeah. And you get five patties and five little packages of gravy. Oh yeah, this is nice. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some butter in here and I'm gonna eat and I'll be back with you guys here in just a minute. Okay guys, so I tried it. I think I think I'll give it a four I'll give it a four out of five and two thumbs up. What do you think, Mom? Yeah, about a four out of five. Four out of five, mm -hmm. yeah. I recommend it for eight bucks. Oh heck yeah. And you can put these on the grill too, providing they're still frozen. Right. <laughs> I do what but, I did. I mean what we did didn't have anything to do with the flavor, but you know, it's fine. They're fine, yeah. Uh, I, I'd say they're worth $8, so. All right, we're going to eat, and then we're going to see what's in that box. Yay! <laughs> okay, guys. This thing came from Texas. Let's open it up. 
see what it is. Sounds like it's got holes in it. Oh, that's a whole bunch of box for... Like I said, I didn't know this was coming. I don't know what it is. Alright. Whew. 22 pounds it weighs. I don't know what this is. Yes, I do. I think these are light poles. <laughs> these are light poles is what they are. Oh, yeah? I think. Look at this thing. Yeah. Here are poppies. Have fun. Poppies. Okay. I think. Yeah, I remember. But why would it come from Texas? They wanted to send me some light poles to put hang, to hang like lights up outside. Uh huh. That's what these are. Oh. I remember now. Okay, that's what they are. <laughs> that's exactly what these are. They're light poles. I'll show you here. Looks like there's three, three, four sections. And you run lights through there. Yeah, that's what they are. Hmm. Okay, well now we know. Yep. I don't have any lights to hang up out here, or we would hang them up out here. Right. So, this will be an upcoming video. There you go. There it is. All right, guys. Well, sorry about that, but I'm kind of excited about these because for Christmas time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, to hang my Christmas lights up. All right, guys. That's I gotta, right. Yeah, you I got to mention that. I got to cool down. And then I'll be back with you. Okay, guys, that's gonna do it for night one. I downloaded a bunch of stuff on this computer, so I got some stuff to watch, but it's very hot out still. Uh, it's only 10:34, so, huh? Anyway, it's only 10:34, so. But I got to get in front of these fans and uh, in front of you fans, but in front of these fans, I got to get cooled down. So that's going to do it for night one, unless something interesting happens. If not, I'll see you guys in the morning. Have a good night. Okay, guys, so I got to go home. We didn't tear down or nothing. I'm just going home. I think the heat got me. I don't feel well. My tooth's really hurting. So. Needs to be at home in bed. I gotta get cooled down. I just can't. No. My heart rate's been at 135 all day long. That's too much. So, and I can't get it to go down, so. There's somebody hey, we coming. Got, we got fans in there. Huh? There's somebody coming. No, that's all right. We got fans in there and stuff, but, you know, uh, just doesn't cool it down enough so uh, somebody's pulling up in a van what the fuck what the fuck are these
Hang on a second, guys. Keep your... just... Oh my gosh. People just don't care. <sighs> I guess they're gonna camp there. Great. Yeah. Maybe I'm not leaving. Hang on, I'll be back with you. Okay, so that guy's setting up. I went over and talked to him. He seems to be okay. Said he'd keep an eye on it for us. <sighs> Sorry, Mama. It disappears. So. Sorry, Mama. Yeah, it's all right, but we're not going to be doing this too much. Doing what? Sweating to death. <laughs> I'll be all right tomorrow. Let's got to go home and get, get cooled down. I'll be back with you guys. Uh... Either in the, maybe later I don't know if not it'll be morning okay guys it's the next day it's actually the next evening <laughs> yeah I got sick my tooth been hurting all day long mm -hmm. uh, we're still not packing up yet the monkey came out earlier to show her mom the camp site and she put the rain fly on because I wanted to put it on last night so we got to go back and put the rain fly on because I forgot she always does this it'll be fine it'll be fine she never learns when I said it's not gonna be fine and everything got flooded so she brought everything home put it in the washer and dried it mm -hmm. uh, so hopefully I can come back out tomorrow because today's Saturday yeah tomorrow and spend the night um, see how my tooth feels but I gotta turn this around. She's got it on backwards. Well, it was getting ready, right? <laughs> she was so trying, trying to hurry because it was gonna rain, but um, as you can see, it's on backwards. She's like, I was wondering about that guy line, how that would work getting in and out. Well, it wouldn't. So we're gonna flip that around. But she tried. But the tank kind of got flooded because, you know, there was no roof on it. Oh, well, I guess it would get wet. Yeah, oh, see, yeah. it's wide open here. Oh no! Oh look, yeah, it's so yeah. close out there. Yeah, yeah, see, so yeah, this. Oh no! <laughs> so it, oh. it wouldn't have done crap anyway. Oh shit! <laughs> that sucker, Amos. And a lot of water in there. We have to bring a mop tomorrow. That's what I was thinking, and then I'll bring some towels if it. Has and towels, and we'll dry it out, and yeah. put the fans in there. It doesn't well, take these long to dry out. Well, I was, the dilemma is that, you know, was I going to put this on or leave it open so then it could sop up when the sun came out. But it got darker and darker and I was like, no, we got to do this. So, I can't believe I did it backwards. That's all right. She tried, though. Uh. <laughs> but uh, her mom likes it out here. She's like, what did she say? Anytime you guys come out here, you can stop and pick me up. Yeah. Stop and pick. She lives with us. <laughs> Stop and pick me up. <laughs> she lives it. with us. <laughs> but she loved it out here, so. Yeah, she liked it. And she but, could walk around with her walker. She came out here and she was walking around and with her walker. Yeah, because it's fairly flat. She's yeah. got to watch out for the sticks, but it's fairly flat. I leveled that out for her yesterday. Yeah. That's where the fire ring was. I moved it over there. Uh huh. When you went in to get Bruno. Right. And I flattened that out with my boots. Just. Mm hmm. So, but yeah, we're. I don't think I'm, I'm still hurting really bad, so. It is cooler today than it was yesterday. I can't even, I can't even hardly drink water. Yeah. I got to keep my mouth wide open, kind of like dump it down my throat. Because mm -hmm. if I drink it regularly, it feels like there's a suction on that tooth trying to suck it out. And it hurts. Mm. Mm. It's bad. I know. I think that's what made me sick. Well, the heat didn't help. No. It was 101 at 10 after 7 last night, heat index. Mm -hmm. And today it was 87 degrees, but the heat index was 97. Mm -hmm. And it was cloudy skies all day up until just about an hour ago. So that's going to be it for this. I'll, get, I'll go ahead and edit this and put it up for you, but then... Uh, maybe we'll have another one for tomorrow night. We'll See, leave I Monday. Gonna, I was going to do mine started it today and just say we put up our stuff on Friday night. And, and then we went home, so I didn't even do one. Well, she asked me. We was in the tent. She said, you want to go home? And I was like, no, no, I'm fine. And um, Mosquitoes. I know. And uh, so I started watching a show, and 
I didn't even get halfway through it. I shut it off. I said, I'm tired. I got to go to sleep. And it wasn't quite 11 o'clock yet. Mm -hmm. And she knew something was wrong. And because I started getting numb, my right arm and leg started getting numb again. I said, well, we better go. Mm -hmm. So she said, let's go. So anyway. And we don't live far from here. So no. It's, not like, it's six miles. This is where I brought the John Deere out that time. And I camped there. Well, then I got sick. Yeah, and we and I, was I had to spend the night with you. Yeah, she was gonna spend the night with me. And then you went home. And ended up getting sick, and I had to drive that tractor all the way back home because I wasn't gonna leave it sitting out here. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. So stay tuned. We'll uh, we'll get probably come out tomorrow. I mean, I'm feeling okay now. My tooth's still hurting. It's pain-wise. It's about an eight right now, maybe a nine, mm -hmm. but we'll see. Uh, you know, hopefully I can spend the night out here tomorrow at least night. One night. Yeah, at least one night. Mm -hmm. Always something weird happens here, though. Really weird. This area. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Shea Bear to Myth the Man of Legend. I'm sorry I failed yet again, Monk. Monk says so. I'm sorry, Monkey. It's all right. I'd rather be safe than sorry. We'll see you in the next one. So, you know, well, I haven't felt good all week. No, it's the truth. And, and they won't yank it. No, because it's you know, infected. Because and... it's infected. No one's giving you any antibiotics. No. And then we ended up in a stupid place. Yeah, I told them all that. Yeah, about, so it's been one thing about after Aspen another. Daniel. I told them all that. But I haven't felt good all week. But So I thought maybe getting out here would help, but... Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. I appreciate it. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.